Well, hey guys, I'm Nick and welcome back to Sci Fanatics. Well, today we're talking about season five of Discovery. We're not too far away from the premiere of the final season of the show, which is in April. And we've recently had some information come out just about the synopsis for our first episode of the series. And there's a little bit of a hint in there which potentially might link back to an old Star Trek The Next Generation episode. Now, the synopsis for our first episode of Star Trek Discovery, season five, episode one, is Captain Burnham and the USS Discovery are sent to retrieve a mysterious 800-year-old Romulan vessel until the artifact hidden inside is stolen, leading to an epic chase. Meanwhile, Saru is offered the position of a lifetime and, and Tilly's efforts to help pull her into a tangled web of secrecy. Now, 800-year-old Romulan vessel. Going back, that puts it pretty much sl slap bang in the middle of uh, Star Trek The Next Generation era. And talking about a mysterious 800-year Romulan vessel, uh, we've had some promo images and tr through the trailers and all that sort of stuff that have uh, come out recently. The, um, the Romulan vessel looks pretty much identical to exactly the same class of ship to the one which we saw in the Next Generation episode, The Next Phase. Now, if you don't remember this episode, it was the one where there was an away team over onto a crippled Romulan science vessel. There was a bit of an accident, Geordie and Roe being back the Enterprise, but they ended up being out of phase because the Romulans were developing a weapon called an interphase generator, which basically meant that they would be able to not only cloak their ship, but go out of phase as well. So it, it's a very sophisticated piece of technology and if developed on a larger scale, would allow pretty much any starship to be completely impervious to conventional weaponry because anybody who is firing a photon torpedo or a, or a phaser beam at a ship with this technology, it would just pass straight through. It would be completely invulnerable to any kind of conventional attack. And a piece of technology that would potentially change the balance of power uh, in the Alpha Quadrant if it was implemented on uh, on starships. And that's what this episode of Next Generation uh, was about. The, the phase inverter coupled with a cloaking device to create this interphase generator uh, that would, yeah, that would obviously make ships cloak and out of phase. So I wonder whether this episode actually links to this discovery uh, because uh, this piece of technology would be obviously a pretty advanced piece of kit to have on board uh, your starship. And the fact that our antagonist characters in this season seem to be on board this Romulan ship when uh, Burnham is essentially ejected. We, we've seen this from the sneak peek scene where uh, Burnham's having a bit of a showdown with um, these two uh, Bonnie and Clyde type characters here on board the Romulan ship. They launch a grenade which blows out the floor of the ship and sends Burnham into space. And as, when she's spinning around we see obviously this Romulan ship in the background and everything. Um, so whether the fact that this technology has been implemented on a, a larger scale that these guys are now using and the fact that this ship that we see in the trailers and everything looks identical to the one we saw in the Star Trek Next Generation episode, The Next Phase, I wonder whether this is an actual important plot point to the new season and that this phasing cloak technology is going to be part of, uh, of what they're hunting for or it might just be a, um, a means that our enemies are using to get themselves around to find an even greater form of technology somehow. But it seems interesting that the, the, the class of ship that's been chosen in this episode episode to show is a dead ringer for the same class of ships seen in this next phase episode of, of Next Gen. I wonder whether another hint might also be a comment that Blue Del Barrio, who plays Adira, made in an interview saying this. Episode by episode feels like an ode to old track. So I wonder whether that means we are going to get old references to past episodes. And the fact that we see the same uh, class of Romulan ship as seen in the next generation does this, does this mean that we're going to get a link back to this um, uh, episode of Next Generation? Because they do say that it's an 800-year-old ship and everything. So it puts it completely around the right time frame to be uh, a, a, an important plot point in this first episode of, of Star Trek Discovery Season 5. But what do you guys think? Do you guys think this uh, could be an important plot point uh, in Season 5 of Discovery? Leave your thoughts in the comments section uh, and we'll get chatting about that. Uh, guys, be sure to subscribe to sci Max if you haven't done so already. Um, really help support the channel, the algorithm and everything. Um, so much appreciated. And also check out my merch in the merch store. Heaps of cool t-shirts, hoodies, mugs, cap stickers, all that sort of stuff. Stuff. Uh, always good prices uh, to pick up yourself a bargain and help support the channel at the same time. Guys, I'll be back very soon with my next video. I'll see you soon.